Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a quick video on some wood stain. A while back I had a request for a certain look and I was having a really hard time finding the right product. Um, I ended up finding something very similar to what my client was wanting, but during the time that I was researching it, I came across this wood stain I had never used before. So it just arrived yesterday. I have not used it at all. We're going to do that for the first time together on camera. And the product is called Weather Wash. Now I got two cans. I got one that's um, called Rusted and one that's called Mist. So they have different variations of these colors. I'm going to read you a little bit about the product, um, what it says on the label, because you're probably wondering why, what is different about this wood stain than other wood stains. Well, first of all, it's a VOC-free stain. It's a water-based stain, and it's supposed to give you a very natural aged look, which is really popular right now. So. What it says is, why waste hours applying primers, paints, and glazes when you can actually age the wood? Whitewash Rusted is a tannin-based reactive stain which naturally ages wood in minutes. Rusted turns wood into warm brown aged look in just minutes instead of centuries. So it's a quick way to get an aged look. And I have behind me like a brand new sanded piece of wood from our wood shop. And so this is a virgin piece of wood. It's going to give us the best um, transformation with this. So what I'm going to do is do rust it on one side. Once it dries, we'll flip it and we'll do the mist on the other side. So we're going to do this together. I've never used this stain before and I'm quite anxious. I actually have another client um, next month that I am going to be doing a stain project and she requested something. I'm hoping that's going to come out very similar to this finish. So. Um, let's go ahead and tip the camera down and get started so we can check this out and see what it looks like. All right, you guys, so I'm ready. I've got my gloves on because when I stain, I stain with gloves because I like to preserve my manicure. So we're going to go ahead and stir. It says to mix it well, although it's a very, very um, thin liquid consistency and I don't feel anything on the bottom that is, you know, sometimes you'll feel uh, the product on the bottom. Being this is a water-based um, age stain, it's a little bit different, so that is stirred up. Now, basically what they say is to go ahead and apply it to a nice clean board. This has been sanded down, and it's ready to go, so we're good there. The difference between putting this on and like a traditional stain is that you're, and if you use gel stains, you're not going to wipe this back. We're going to put this on. It says to just put this on. You can use a foam roller, a rag, a brush, a paint sprayer if you want to. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use a foam brush because we were working with a small section. If I was working with a larger section, I might use a foam roller or I might use a, um, uh, a rag. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And basically, it takes 60 minutes, it says, to dry. So you are going to put this on nice even strokes on your wood and then we are going to leave it so we're going to see what happens in 60 minutes so you guys can see how blonde this board is to begin with it's like a brand new piece of wood very light looks brand new so we're going to see what happens after we put this on and let it turn now this is the color rusted um, and so we're going to see. This says it's going to give it a brown, rusted look. So we will check it out together and see what happens at the end of the video. So that is it. It doesn't look like much. I've worked with products similar to this, and they do indeed take time to turn. So you do have to be patient. Don't keep loading it up. Um, we've gone ahead and completely coated our board. There's no reason to put any more on. This will do what it's supposed to do in the time that it's supposed to do it. So when it is done in one hour and maybe you are wanting a, a little deeper, then you can go ahead and put on a second coat. But you just don't want to continue to layer wet coat after wet coat. You're just going to prolong the dry time. So we're going to let this sit for 60 minutes. Typically with these type of stains, I've never recoated because the idea is you want a natural, you know, uh, weathered look. You're not going for a complete transformation from light wood to, you know, like a Java color stain. So 
Let's go ahead and let this sit up for an hour and see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, you guys, so here we are at the end of our first hour. I'm gonna hold up the board for you so you can see. It still looks pretty light. I'm gonna flip it real quick so I can show you the back side, but it's definitely aged and darker than, so this is the back side that we haven't done, and this is the front side. So you can see where it's aged it and made it look kind of grayish brown. I'm gonna go for it and put another coat on there because I'm not happy with the fact that it's not very dark. I want a little bit darker of a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat. So the video itself is gonna obviously take a little longer because it's been an hour from the first coat to the second, and now I wanna wait another hour and let it dry. I have been in the workshop and working on other pieces, and so I actually could see it basically changing colors before my eyes, and it definitely looks aged and different than it did. I think giving it the second coat though is gonna really give it the look that I want. So. There it is there. We're gonna put the second coat on, we're gonna sit, and we are going to wait for that to dry, and then I will come back and show you the end result of the second coat. And again, just so you can get an idea, this is the wood undone, and this is now with coat two on it. Let me tip that down a little bit further. So you can definitely see the difference how we've taken this from new wood to aged wood. So sometimes on camera, it doesn't, the, the change in color doesn't look as extreme, even with certain paints and things just sometimes don't show up that well. So I am going to leave this strip right here so that when we do both colors, you guys get the idea of how much this has actually changed the wood and make it look aged. Just after putting that second coat on and seeing it wet, I'm super happy with that result. So we'll come back in an hour and we'll look at this together and then we're going to flip it and do the other color. So we are done with that first um, color, which is the rusted. Now I will say I don't think this is a brown color. It's more of a gray finish, if you ask me, more of an aged gray barn wood finish. But let me show you. So this is our, this is our clean before side. This is our side with the stain. As you can see, it looks, I'm turning it because I get a lot of afternoon sun and I really want you guys to get the effect. It actually looks a lot grayer in person. I'm going to take a still photo of it at the end and I'm going to put the before this color and then the other color so you guys can really see a still comparison of how it changed. But this is the effect you get. As you can see, it's more gray. So I like it, um, but I just want you to understand even though the can says brown I wouldn't say this comes out really brown and um, I do like this effect keep in mind it is not really supposed to stain like other stains this is a wash it's supposed to give you that really weathered aged look and it did its job I mean it took us from this here to this here so pretty cool let's go ahead get the other side covered in the other color. Um, you saw me do the process, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that off camera. When it's dry, I'm gonna do the same thing, two coats, wait an hour in between each one, and then we'll preview that color just to see if we like it differently or any better. So yeah, it's kinda cool. I will get back to you guys as soon as it's done. Thanks. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on the color Mist, and I do wanna mention that this is a pine, and it will come out on different um, woods differently. They do showcase that on their website, just so you know. But the board I'm working with today is pine. And I like this color a little bit better. So I should have done this on the first side. And I, of course, sometimes you just don't think. But this is mist. This is our, our starting board, our blank canvas. This is mist. I like that one a little bit better. So let me flip it and show you. This is the rusted, which they say is the brownish color. I think it's more gray in color on pine, but pine is a very light wood, so that kind of would explain it not being as deep. And then this, which really gives you the idea of bare wood, and this is mist. Mist is a gorgeous color. So 
One last thing I'm gonna do just for fun um, is I want to whitewash it. I think maybe I'm gonna try to whitewash one side and then lime wax the other. Um, I have a look that I have in mind actually for a client coming up that wants that type of a look. Kind of an aged look with the stain and then a whitewash effect on top. So we're just gonna do it just for fun and see what happens. Might come out totally horrible. So let's take one last peek at this. Um, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful as always. Um, please keep subscribing so you can always get all of my videos. And I have had so much fun sharing this new product with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as I always do. And I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm going to go ahead and whitewash this off camera and lime wax it. I'll showcase that on the um, still photos at the end of the video. Okay, thanks so much and have a wonderful day.